this on car fires and uh, probably do a probably do a pretty good job of, you know with it um, the nice thing about it it's simple very simple now you look at all the plumbing and piping and I can't even follow exactly where everything goes but the setup and the operation is very simple you have a source of compressed air which basically is the engine that's what drives everything you've got two tanks and then you you turn those on you have a, a valve here which allows the, the compressed air to go into the tank it pressurizes all the way through the system you have a foam proportioner and a mixer and all everything is just done automatically there's very little that you have to do there's one knob right down here that you can turn either right or left to change whether or not you want your foam drier or wetter right now it's set in the 20 to 1 mix ratio which he says is optimum for for you know across the board general operation uh, and he said that's really where he suggests that you you keep it and uh, and so unless we find some reason to do otherwise we're going to keep it set right there so there's really nothing that you have to do um, the third valve is that if you're sitting down you can't see it but anyway it's right down there it's right on there this is your discharge valve so to put this in operation basically you pull the pin open your uh, tank head so you get access to turn this valve on turn that on you open this you have to make sure that this hose is fully deployed in a nice arc because when this thing charges it wants to and if you're standing there and, and, and there's a kind of a loop that's that's right there it's going to come and it's going to nail you it might even knock you off your feet. I don't know if it's that strong, but um, but you want to you know, make sure that it deploys you know real nice. There's a special nozzle that goes with it. It's the only nozzle that you use. You uh, you don't use one of our others. Uh, in fact, there it is right there. Um, it's a, it's a, got a pistol grip, and then the bail. It's very easy to use, but you want to make sure that you know you're ready when that thing gets charged. You're ready for it. <clears throat> now, 60 gallons of water. You got a jug down there that has foam concentrate. This will generate on one 60 gallon load roughly 1,200 gallons of foam. So that's a pretty good, pretty good amount of foam. <laughs> what he told me that, because I told him, I said, all right how much air are you, are you going to use in that? He said, you should be able to do that on one tank. So I thought, okay, cool. Because now we got 200 gallons here. So if we turn around and fill this back up with another 60 gallons, that'll give us another 1,200 gallons. That's 2,400 gallons of foam. That's, that's a lot of foam. We can do a lot of foaming with that. So um, we're going to have the advantage between this water and that to really be able to do a lot in terms of foam operations, be it on a structure fire, be it on a wildland fire, car fire, vehicle fire, uh, truck fire. You know, it's it's going to give us a tremendous amount of flexibility. He also told me, and I didn't understand everything he was talking about because I didn't, I wasn't here looking at it, but he said that there's some way that we can take the water coming out of our fire pump, there was this water here, and run it through the system, we would have to have a, a much larger foam reservoir, but through the system and utilize the full 200 gallons, plus you got 60 here, that's 260 gallons, we should be able to come up with like 5,000 gallons of, of foam, which, I mean, that's, that's amazing, out, you know, a little outfit like ours, having that much foam capability. We can we can do some serious firefighting with it, but uh, I think you'll you'll find it kind of amazing when you when you see what it can do and in that. And uh, you know, if we have anything left that we play around here when we get down and, and actually do a do a burn, I'd like to have at least enough there we can, we can uh, demo what it's like to to use this on a actually on a fire. And one of the ways you can use it too is, is if you've got a, uh, a 
an area, maybe a scratch line or a road or, or something, you're going to say maybe do a back burn from. You can foam it first and uh, that'll give you that much more protection for that backfire to, uh, to go and, and not come back you know, behind you. So. Anyway, when you climb up here, you, there's a little thing here that kind of says what you do. You know, like number one is open the gas, which is <laughs> this. You, you can hear it. Okay, you open that all the way. Is that just open like open this. Kind of Pardon me? Is that just 150 psi kind of thing in, the, in those tanks, or is it more? No, it's. Well, it, it's. Uh, 1200. Yeah. There are 2260 tanks as far as what they're pressurized to. They are 80. I believe it's 85 cubic feet of so air that's, that's in it. Huh? Like a, you gotta have those pumped up at the fire station. Yeah. The fire yeah. station kind of. yeah. Yeah, you can hear the air going in. Okay, now comes the very important part. Before you open that valve, yeah. <laughs> make sure you get that hose out there. Otherwise, you're gonna have one hell of a mess. I've seen... <laughs> hoses charged in the, when I was still with Boise Fire. The big five inch supply lines, I've seen those charge in the hose bed. It's golden arches. Just <laughs> <laughs> and it, and, and it, it, it <coughs> really, I mean, there's, there's so much pressure that you, you bend things. Wow. It's, it's really pretty, pretty amazing. The way this hose is in here, it's just kind of flaked inside this little uh, tray. So if you take this, and you can just, in fact, Jim, if you want to just grab that, go ahead and, and you can just pull it out, or you can just go ahead and take bunches of it, including the moths. <laughs> it's, it's very lightweight, it's single jacket lined hose. here one that'll show you the amount of quantity that you have in the tank and then the other is your delivery pressure so in this case here this is showing about 150 psi and then this looks like there's about 1500 uh, are you doing the pigeon roll